Hello everybody, this is a recording to show how to set up your CSS in the uh, WYSIWYG table assignment. So we're applying the CSS fonts. So what you'll do with this, so the first thing is open NVU, and then Tools CSS Editor. So now you can see that I'm in NVU. I go to Tools, CSS Editor, take off expert mode so I click that off now let me go back to the class so take off expert mode click rule create a new name rule and we're going to call it titles so I click rule new name style rule and this is going to be called titles and what I'm doing here is I'm telling whatever characteristics I give to this I'll be able to use the word titles and it'll give that characteristic to that text from here on out. So cr then click create style rule then text tab. Okay. So now create style rule. So now I'm in the title style. So now what do I want the, everything that is called titles, what do I want it to look like? Well, let's go here. Text and the the directions say use predefined times new roman is a good one for titles so predefined so right here predefined times new roman okay now i'm going to put some color on it so what color would i like my title text title text to be maybe i want to be this kind of a purplish bluish Okay, so I do that. So this is what my title text will look like right now. Now let's go back to the lesson. Button to choose the color title, choose the color, choose other attributes if I want, and then click close. So this is what I want my titles to look like. I can make it a little bit larger. Uh, maybe I won't mess with that right now. So that's what I want my title to be. Then I go ahead and hit close. And now I've created that right here. So I've created that in my in my CSS. So now if I go back to the class, so it shows up in the drop-down list, which it did. Type your title, highlight the title, then choose the title to apply it. So now the way this will work. So my title is going to be um, Ron's Autobiography. So I type it, and of course nothing has changed yet. I hit Enter at the end, but now I go in and I highlight it, and I go choose that class I created, and you can see that now the title changed, right? So that's how this works. So you'll end up with the titles, and some others in there and then whenever you want to make text change to look like that all you have to do is just highlight the text and then pull down the box for what you want so if I go back to the lesson so we did that one and we made the titles happen so now we go in here now we have to define the so we did the title one already now we have to do a paragraph one a photo captions and citations so I'm going to go on back so now I'm going to do a paragraph one. So I'm right here. I'm going to do tools, CSS editor. So I'm following those same directions as before. Take off expert mode. Rule. And now this one's going to be um, text, I believe. Or paragraphs. So let's call it paragraph. Paragraph. I'm going to create that style. So now I'm on paragraph here, and what do I want par all my paragraphs to look like? Well, I want all my paragraphs to look like, again, I'll choose Times Roman on the color, but I want all my paragraphs to be black text. Then I'll hit OK. So I have that set up for the paragraphs, and this is what it will look like down here. Then I go ahead and hit Close. So now I see I have paragraphs here, so paragraph and titles. 
And now there are two more that they have you set up. We need a captions one and a citations one. So let's go do that. So captions one and citations one. So I'm right here again. Tools, CSS editor, take expert off, rule, caption. So captions is the words that go underneath the pictures. Create the rule. So now captions is clicked right here. And what do I want captions to look like? Well, captions, I'm going to change it a little bit. Captions, I'm going to use this Arial font right here. And I want the stuff under the captions, I'm going to make it red, just to change it up a little bit. So now this is what captions will look like. And captions, I want it to be a little bit smaller. So I'll go down here and I'll choose smaller. So captions are going to be a little bit smaller. Then I'll hit close. So now if I go to my box right here, now I have captions, paragraph, titles. And then I have one more to make, and that's citations. That means, like, where did you get your information? So I'll do tools, CSS editor, take expert off, then rule. And this is citations. Create the style rule. Now citations is chosen right here. What do I want that text to look like? I'm going to use the uh, the Arial for the citations. And citations, maybe I want to make them a dark green. I'll hit OK. And I want this to be a smaller text also. So that's what citations will look like. Then I hit close. So I've made all four of the CSS that I need. So if I go back to the class, it says once you make all four of those, so that's called an internal style sheet. But then we want to make it an external, so we have to export it. You see how right here, follow the steps to export as ex to, to external. So we're going to go to Tools, CSS Editor, leave Expert Mode checked. So Tools, CSS Editor, Expert mode is checked right here in the lower left. Let's go back to the class. Click on the internal style sheet name and then choose export to switch to the export version. Then you save it as my styles in the unit 4 folder. So click on the internal style sheet name. So internal style sheet, so I clicked on that. Just make sure that's what I'm supposed to do. Click on the internal style sheet name, then choose export style sheet. So I clicked on that, then choose export style sheet, and switch to exported version. does that say? Then save it in the Unit 4 folder. So I'm right here. Select a CSS file. What is that telling me to do here? I think what it wants me to do is find the folder where I want to save it. Okay. Block two. No, oh, I can't find my folder. Okay, well, what it 